Hello and welcome back and today I want to help you guys to have access to the Synology DSM-7 Beta. Now it isn't currently available. This helps you get onto the shortlist of the DSM test program. What you need to do is head over to event.synology.com slash en dash global slash DSM underscore preview. What a boring URL that is. Hopefully that URL is in the description. And what you need to do is go to that link and you'll head to this page. From here you can find out a little bit of information about the Synology preview program because they do produce betas of multiple applications all the time and it isn't just about DSM. So if you do own a Synology NAS and you do like to experiment a little bit I do recommend joining the beta and preview program. From here what you need to do is go down to the bottle and fill out all the information needed to register for access to the beta when it becomes available. You will not be automatically invited to try out this beta unless you agree to join the preview program. So from here, you will register by clicking that button. And if you go to the registration, you either have to use your existing Synology account, so that's your online access account, or create a brand new account in order to be entered into the preview of DSM. I believe this closes before the end of January, so it's recommended that you do it soon so you can make sure to get your hands on this software and learn how compatible you're going to be. Do make sure that you enter the details of your NAS here, so if you're gonna go for something a little bit low spec, such as a DS218, you can find out that it is supported. However, if we look at something much less supportive, we can see that even something like a DSM120J is supported on this device. Let's go really, really low end. Let's look at 115J, shall we? DS115J apparently is supported. Who knew? From this page, you can also find out a lot more information about the beta itself. You can find out about the release notes on different stuff. And ultimately from here, find out loads of information about what DSM-7 and the beta itself is going to provide to you so you can get to know the new Disk Station Manager software what's included, what isn't, and just how limited or unlimited some of these apps are going to be at launch. And of course, I'm going to be doing a full software overview of this software as soon as we've got our hands on the beta. But I do recommend that you register and find out for the beta, and I'll see you guys when my software overview of DSM-7 is completed, hopefully before the end of the month, but let's see. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Do stay tuned and check out my other software videos as well as my information on CES 2020. I'll see you guys next time.